Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I will talk about list box in WPF. List box can be used to view an array of objects or simple array to a list. So let's start. From the toolbox you can search list box and drag in the grid. When you open a new project in WPF, you have a project that have only a grid. So this is a simple grid. You can include a list box from code manually or drag from here. So I am going with code XAML. So here I have defined a list box. and I can list box item content item 1 item 2 so I have defined a list box and I have included two items using list box item and using its content property when I will run this application you can see I have two items you can include anything a string in it so Akram Islam you can include name of person So here is the output. Let's see if you want to add items in the code using binding feature. So delete two items and in the list box display member display member path and here you can uh, set the property of the class so here I will define a class let's see you are using a class of student so class student property of uh, ID property of string with the name of name string semester so here is the class now I will use a list of objects of type student so list of student list is equal to new list here I am using constructor so I will add some items list dot add new student and I will set the name is equal to Mr. Ali I can also also set ID and other properties but I will go with only name so add two more items Mr. Rehan and Mr. Afzal so I will set uh, the item source property so first I will give it a name L box list box here is the name list box one and uh, here list box one dot item source is equal to this list of student and here is the display member path that means I want to show the name property in the list item so here is the name if I want to show ID ID and I will set if I have uh, set the ID here I can show the ID 
also here so I will run this application so here you can see I have three items and these items are from class of student and I added objects into the list and the list is the item source of this list box so here is the code a list of student I am adding objects of students and uh, setting the item source property of list box is equal to list so here is the list the data and here is the display member path name and here is the name I have set for the accessing in code you can also uh, show any property ID is master but you have to set also the uh, that specific property in the constructor are uh, from the uh, object so here is the list box and the data binding feature of it so I will start so now I will set the list box selection change that is the list box I will double click on that and I have got the list box one dot selection change event I will handle it so list box one dot selected item I will get object from it so var student or I can model and m box model dot name student as student so he here I, I am getting the object from the list box and uh, I am showing the name property in the message box window so now I will show it uh, in the console model dot name because I have to include the farm property but I will go with the console let's see here is the output I will click on any of the list box item I will get its name property